Yo, 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 what is going on, guys? Joey Shirkamaki is back here with another video for you guys. And guys, as expected, we are here to talk about the big move that was made just yesterday involving the Ravens. I said I'd be back when, when the Ravens first make a move. Also going to talk a little bit about the draft in the end. Again, I don't get into specific players, but actually, I, I shouldn't say that. Uh, I don't really dig into certain players, but I will go over some positions that I think we need to upgrade immediately. So, uh, first of all, as most of you know, Ravens have officially traded offensive tackle Orlando Brown to the Chiefs for draft picks. The most important ones are uh, the, the number 31 pick. That is a first-round pick this year. So for right now, we have two first-rounders. Uh, we also got a third rounder out of it, I'm pretty sure, and a fifth rounder, and I think another pick for next year. But the one that I'm really paying attention to is another first rounder. So for right now, we have two first rounders. So before we talk about the draft, I will talk about, uh, let's talk about how I feel about this. So do I let this stream? In some ways, yes. In some ways, no. First of all, I was kind of holding out hope that Orlando Brown was going to stay. As most of you know, right when the offseason started, there was so much tension. Brown was like, I better get traded, I better get traded. And I was like, oh yeah, Brown's gone, he's going to get traded right now. It didn't happen, and it had been quiet for a while, so I was kind of thinking, hmm, maybe the tension settles down, maybe, maybe Brown's going to stay, and I was really hoping he would. Unfortunately, I spoke too soon, and he did get traded. Again, I'm not surprised, okay? It was certainly bound to happen, and now it officially happens. So... Obviously, I'm not happy about it. I loved Orlando Brown. He was very good, totally overperformed. I think he was like a third-round pick. Most certainly uh, performed better than a third-round pick. I think he's becoming a bit overrated, but he's still most certainly better than a third-round pick. Um, so I definitely do not want to see him go, and it's definitely a big blow to our offensive line, which is already which has some problems. I mean, it's overall it's gotten better. I mean, of course we got Kevin Zeitler, but uh, losing Orlando Brown certainly is not ideal. But um, it's not like we just cut him, okay? We got something out of it. We got draft picks. And another first-round pick I really am happy about. But my biggest concern about this, I'm trying to evade the fact we just lost Orlando Brown. Like, I'm trying to grasp the fact, like, there is no longer going to be a giant number 78 on our offensive line. It's no longer a thing. I, I, I got to grasp that. I'm having a hard time grasping that. So moving past that... Uh, we have two first-round picks. Again, I am really happy about that. Not only are they two first-round picks, but they are very close to each other. So what I like is, you know, after we make the pick at 27, again, we could trade back and more on that in a second. Uh, assuming we use both of our first-round picks, which is no gimme, you know, think, oh, we pick someone at 27, we can kind of, I'm not going to say guarantee, but because our next pick is so close, we can kind of picture who we're going to take right away, We and we can kind of lock in on a, on a player or two, because if we had a huge gap, we would have to think, okay, well, this player, but if he gets taken, this player, and so on. Uh, while that player could get taken in the next few picks, uh, it's picks 27 and 31. Those are very close to each other. So I'm definitely happy about that. However, I have heard from rumors, and these are reliable rumors. You guys know some Ravens reporters have picked up on this. We're thinking about trading back in the draft. And I've seen some fans really be happy about this. As you guys know on Twitter, I see a lot of this. I am actually one of the rare fans, I think, that is against it. I do not want to trade back. Because we have two, two really big position needs. Now... Uh, again, we're, uh, we're going to pick up on this in a second. Offensive line, I'm not marking as the top two needs right now. It's still a need, but I'm, mar I'm marking it as the third need. The, the primary two needs that we have right now, pass rush and wide receiver, I'd say in that order. While our receivers are really bad, I think our pass rush is, much, is a little bit more of an issue. Um, so I feel like what we should do is use those two first-round picks. Take one receiver, take one pass rusher. Back to back, it really should even out well. Again, there's no guarantees, but it's definitely possible. And I do think that if we take those two, if we use those two picks, get a receiver, get a pass rusher, that's really going to help. Adding to that, after the draft, uh, because it no longer counts against compensatory picks because the draft has already happened, we can sign people. So I'm thinking that we'll sign a pass rusher. We visited with Justin Houston a couple weeks ago, I think. Uh, it went well. He did not sign, obviously. But I think the main reason he didn't sign was because uh, it, we didn't want to waste compensatory picks. So I do have hope that we will sign him. You never know, but I, I do think the move makes a lot of sense. The Colts might re-sign him, but they don't seem overly interested. So I definitely think there's a possibility in that. If we don't re-sign him, we could uh, sign Melvin Ingram as well. So... 
Um, that's what I think we should do. I don't want to trade back. I know besides receivers, we're really good at developing. We, we can develop linemen. We can develop pass rushers. But we can't develop receivers for now. I'm Again, with new passing game coordinators, I have hope that we're going to be able to change that. But still, uh, developing wide receivers has been an issue for us for a fair amount of time. I think it's like at an all-time low right now, but it's never been great. So, um, with, with that being said, I still think we should draft a wide receiver. I mean, it's such a big need. There's no other free agent wide receivers that are realistic. I mean, yes, Antonio Brown is still there, but that ship sailed. We're not signing Antonio Brown. I want it to happen. It's not going to. Um, so, we definitely need to draft one. I think that's pretty much uh, essential at this point. So, we're going to draft a receiver. I think that probably will be our first pick. And then, again, the question is, where? what do we do next? So, again, what do we do next? We need to get a pass rusher, but I'm saying like, do we take that 31st pick or do we trade back? And again, guys, I know we love our two second rounders and maybe three, maybe a couple third rounders, but I really don't want to trade back. I don't think it's a good idea um, because, and I, I, the main reason why we would trade back is what the trade off is because our two first round picks are so close to each other, 27 and 31. Our next pick, I think, is not until 94. So 31 to 94. Little quick math here. That's 63 picks. That is a long, long gap. And I do, I do understand it. It's a huge gap. So it might be a little bit tough um, to, you know, go with that and just not make any moves there. So if we wiped out the 31st pick we would probably have a second rounder closer to 27 plus the 90, I said 94th overall pick, something like that, 93 or 94. So that, in a sense, that could be better. And I do see the logic in that, but at the same time, I just I think we need to pull the trigger early. To be fair, I do think there are a lot of good receivers and a lot of good pass rushers. The thing is, though, I feel like they say it's a deep wide receiver class every year. And excuse me, regardless of the receiver we get, we always find a way to turn them in the garbage. It's so annoying. But again. I have hope this year. We got rid of David Culley, new passing game coordinators. Apparently, they're good. Keith Williams and someone else. So I'm giving us, an, a, 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 of course, I don't run the team, but I'm holding out hope that we can maybe develop a wide receiver this time. So uh, if if we do that and then draft the pass rusher, I am totally cool with that. And then sign a pass rusher after the draft, preferably Justin Houston. And I think we'll be cooking, but there's another part to it. So if we trade back, I would think we would take a receiver at 27, assuming that there's someone there that we like, which, you know, it's possible there's not. Uh, if not, we'd probably go pass rusher. And then if uh, we get a receiver, then a second rounder, maybe we'll take a pass rusher. Then the next second rounder, maybe we'll take a lineman. So that isn't a bad idea, but I really do not want us to trade back. I think we should use our two first rounders. I think it's really essential. We have two very big needs. And yes, offensive line depth is key. And yes, we do need a starting right tackle. But I don't think that trading back is really going to do us any good. The gap might be an issue, and I do understand that. But I think that we should use our two first rounders. So now we're going to talk about after the draft. So as I mentioned... Sign a pass rusher after the draft, no doubt about it. I don't see us picking up more than one pass rusher that is actually valuable. Again, what we might do is, you know, draft a pass rusher first or second, then maybe draft one later on and maybe try and develop him. But uh, he will likely not be a starter for this season. So draft a, a high pass rusher who likely will start, sign one after free agency, two pass rushers, edge rushers, by the way. That is good. I still think we could use more, but that definitely helps. Because right now, if our, if the season started today, we would no doubt have the worst pass rush in the league. We literally have no pass rush right now, with the exception of maybe Justin Matabuke, Matabuke. But he's one guy, and he's injury prone, so God knows what's going to happen. Again, I'm, I'm kind of high on him, to be honest. He showed a lot of promise, but we can't rely on one person. And he, he's a rookie. Well, he was a rookie. So we need edge rushers. We have no edge rushers. Matabuke is an interior guy. And Pernell McPhee, pure run stuffer. He's an okay pass rusher, but he's clearly not a number one. And uh, Jalen Ferguson's trash. Uh, lost Jihad War, lost Udon, lost Ngakwe, and Bowser's a coverage guy. So we need edge rushers who can rush the passer badly. So... Draft one, sign one, and maybe even maybe even sign two, or maybe draft two. I would not be against that either. So, 
going back to Orlando Brown in the offensive line situation. So we traded him to the Chiefs for picks, as you sh- as expected. Brown will play left tackle with Kansas City, protect Mahomes' blind side. So um, for as for the Ravens, there are two offensive linemen out on the market who we have expressed interest in. One, Alejandro Villanueva, former left tackle for the Steelers. He is a actually. No, he's a free agent. So uh, if we sign him now, it would count against compensatory picks, so it's not a good idea to sign him now, especially this close to the draft, and we're not going to. There's no doubt about it, uh, at least right now. But, and what's kind of weird, and I, I, I'm not going to call name any names in particular, but some Ravens reporters, uh, I think it was a bit unprofessional of them. Um, so right when we, I, almost right, when we traded Orlando Brown, they said, okay, Alejandro Villanueva, he visited the Ravens. He is expected to sign right after the draft, so the Ravens had their new right tackle. Then, just later, they said, actually, according to another source, Alejandro Villanueva is not expected to sign with the Ravens, and they'll go for someone else. Like, that, it's so conflicting, and these are professional reporters. So I kind of was annoyed, to be honest. I thought that was uncool, and I'm not saying that they did it on purpose, but they need to be assertive of their position and know what they're saying. So, regardless, Villanueva is an option. Uh, Another guy who is an option, who just got brought up today, and we're visiting with them, I think, this weekend, so it could be tomorrow, could be Sunday, is Dennis Kelly, former uh, right tackle, by the way, for the Titans. And I would definitely like him as well. Um, again, these are just stats, but apparently he did not let up a single sack last year, so that's great. And again, we need pass blocking more than run blocking. Only one of our linemen, now that Brown is gone, can do both, and that's Ronnie Stanley. Everyone else, Bozeman, McCary, Powers, um, Phillips, at least for now. And I mean, Zeitler can do both, to be fair, but he hasn't played yet. So, um, McCary, all of them, they are pure run blockers. They can't pass block to save their life, especially Powers. So we need more pass blocking. So if Kelly is more of a pass blocker than a run blocker, that's just fine with me. And now that apply might apply more for Villanueva. I've heard he's like a really good pass blocker, but is not so good of a run blocker. Now, then again, we are a run first team, so he needs to be able to run block somewhat well. But um, I'm pretty sure Dennis Kelly can do both. I, he's also a big guy, which we could really use, um, because Orlando Brown was a huge guy, so I kind of feel like if we got Dennis Kelly, that would help fit, uh, fill in the giant role. He, again, Dennis Kelly is a big guy. I mean, I don't know if he's cut back weight, and he's not even necessarily overweight. He's just very, really strong, giant, built that way. Um, but anyways, um, he's a he's a huge guy, and I do think that would fit to replace Orlando Brown. So, beside, but yeah, excuse me, guys. Between Villanueva and Kelly, I definitely would take Kelly over him. Uh, Villanueva kind of had a rough year, and I'm not saying he's like past his prime, but he might be, and he's also aging. Kelly is not very old; I think he's like in his upper 20s or something. So, I would definitely take Dennis Kelly. Plus, uh, Villanueva is a left tackle. Kelly is a right tackle. I think Villanueva would be happy to move to right tackle, but let's get some who is already in that position in the first place, Dennis Kelly. So another thing that I like about Dennis Kelly, and I'm not saying we need to sign him now, he is not uh, classified as a free agent. Well, he is, but he was cut by the Titans. He's. It's not like it was the end of his contract. The Titans just cut him. So by rule, if we sign him now, it does not count against Cobbins and Tory picks. So we could sign Kelly now and not have to worry about that. Meanwhile, if we sign Villanueva, we would have to worry about Cobbins and Tory picks and we'd have to wait until after the draft. So uh, Kelly is visiting us tomorrow. Actually, I don't know if it's tomorrow, this weekend. So either tomorrow or Sunday, or wait, today's Saturday. Sorry, guys, I'm a day behind. Uh, tomorrow, I'm pretty sure. Sunday, um, Kelly is visiting, and they said this weekend, I wouldn't be shocked if it gets moved to Monday, but regardless, we're visiting with Kelly, uh, and I personally don't understand why the Titans let him go, I thought he was really good, and looking at the way he plays, I would absolutely take him, he's most certainly an upgrade, I do not re- want to rely on Tyree Phillips to play right tackle, he was inconsistent this year, and he's very, very young, so, that's just about all I have for today, guys. Um, again, I'm not going to get into specific names for draft players because I don't know too much about it. But uh, that's going to do it for this video. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, please be sure to drop in the video. Please forgive me for messing up the days. Uh, expect Kelly to either visit tomorrow or Monday and expect reports um, for on how it goes and perhaps if there's a deal on. So thank you guys so much for watching. You're all a bunch of homies, and I will see you. Peace out. Have a great day. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys probably before draft head, depending on how things go, or if the Ravens make a move in the next few days, I will certainly be on that as well. So I will hope to see you guys soon, and we will see how the draft goes. Buckle up, guys. It's going to be such a great draft. I am really looking forward to seeing what the Ravens do. Uh, and have a nice night, and I will see you guys then.